Hello everyone, here I'm going to do a quick introduction to Flutter 9 App Developer. I'm going to click New Project, I'm going to click App Developer up at the top here, I'm going to say a new blank App Developer project. I have a piece of hardware in front of me which is an Arduino Uno, and what I've put onto it is I've put the SCADA Slave uh, embedded firmware onto, onto this Arduino Uno. This firmware was made using Flowcode, and you can see if I go to the API component library, under SCADA slaves, we have SCADA Arduino Uno. If I go to the help file, um, to, the, uh, to the wiki, and I type in SCADA slave Uno, then here we have the component help file, and you can see that here we have the firmware available to download and load onto your Arduino. So, what do I want to do with this Arduino? Well, I've got it. I've got an LED connected to my Arduino, and what I want to be able to do is turn that LED on and off. So, I'm going to add a um, control, and that's going to be a switch. So the switch is um, going to default to off. Um, and we can have some labels, uh, LED on and LED off. To be able to see then we might want to make the switch a bit wider. Use a 40, let's make it 80. That's good. So now in the program, what we'll do is we will um, initialize the SCAD slave and then we will have a loop and we will get the state of the switch and load it into a variable into a variable switch type ball we'll have a decision if switch Uh, if the switch is pressed, then it will return true, otherwise it will return false. And then we can have uh, either set output pin. Now I've got my LED connected to digital pin 8. And so we would say 1 for on and 0 for off. And then we might just have a little delay, just so things don't um, wrap around too fast. So let's say 100 milliseconds. Um, let me see if I can bring on a camera. So I'll start that running now. So there we're running. Here's my Arduino board. If I click the switch, I haven't specified the COM port. So here, if I select the Arduino SCADA program, uh, components, under COM port, I need to assign a COM port. There we go. Hopefully that'll work now. There we go. Let's run it again. The LED's off. Click switch. The LED's on. Click switch. LEDs off. Okay, brilliant. So now what we want to do is we want to make this app available so we can ship it to a customer. So what we do is we go File, Export, Dis Deploy as Flutter App. This project must be saved. Yes, I want to save it. So we will give it a name, so Arduino LED. And now we've got some options. So we can choose what controls the user will get. So we've got start, pause, stop. You can obviously choose to have no controls or, or just to hide some of them. Let's just keep them all for now. You can choose which um, main view that they get. Uh, I believe, just go back and check. This is on the 2D dashboard panel. So we need to have our main 
uh, window as the 2D dashboard panel. Uh, we can lock the camera if we want. Uh, we can have other things um, like the 3D dashboard, the, the 3D system, sorry, the, the properties panel, the console panel. Properties panel is going to be quite useful. Um, so we probably always, always want to show that. And it's useful because we need access to the COM port to talk to the Arduino. So let's go back. And on the Arduino itself, you notice that these are the properties that will be shown to the user. So currently there's nothing there. If we select the Arduino Uno, we want to be a, the user to be able to change the value of this COM port. So we just right click it and expose the top level. And now you can see when I click on a blank area of the uh, panel, that property is now available there. And that will then be available to the user so that they can choose which port um, to use. Okay, so it's file, export, deploy as app. So this is the title that we're going to give to the application. Um, under components, we can see it's selected some of the components um, that are in our program and whether or not they'll be visible. So we can make say, some things, say like the Arduino, uh, invisible if we want to. Uh, I'm not bothered about this. Let's make it everything visible for now. We can add various resources. So you can see there's a few DLLs being automatically included. And this could be things like um, bitmaps or audio files, things like that. So at the very bottom, we've got bundle app developer runtime. So that basically gives us uh, our flow code project file and it also bundles the runtime executable with that. So if we click deploy, it asked me to select a folder. I'm just going to pop it on my desktop. Success! Your Flockered app can now be found. Users, Ben, Desktop, Arduino, LED. So let's have a look for that. So, desktop, Arduino, LED. So we can completely first flow code. We don't need that anymore. And here we have our exported SCADA project file. We have the app developer runtime all bundled in for us. And we have a batch file to basically invoke the runtime executable and load in our project file. Now this can be shipped to a customer, no installations required, this will just run uh, completely standalone. If I run this batch file now, then it loads the app developer runtime. See it looks a lot like flow code, but it, we don't have the, um, the flowchart or the code entry window anymore. Um, and if we run it, so we've got the COM port selected. If we run the file, uh, then we can toggle the switch. And the LED is on. Let me try and minimize this down a bit so we can see that happening in real time. Oops. Okay, so. So that is Flickr Adapt Developer. Many thanks for watching.